All right, third grade, so we're back. We're going to start with the eyes now. So you're going to get a sheet of paper, um, and you're going to get a relatively small piece. This one's a little bit bigger. Uh, but just like we talked about before, you have to make sure you have a fifth of the face being the eyes. So you can kind of go through. So it'll wind up being four lines but five sections. So a fifth of the face is the eye. So I'm just going through making tiny little lines. I know you guys can barely see them. But it's to give myself a guide, so we've talked about measuring, to make sure they're the same size. And I'm doing this on my paper before I even get my white paper, which will be the whites of the eyes. So I know when I'm cutting my paper, I need to make it that big. Okay, so now I'm going to get my sheet of paper, and I'm going to kind of measure it. So I'm getting my paper, I'm putting the edge of the paper where that corner is. So if I will make the black lines for you guys so you can see so in five sections four lines one two three four five sections one two three four lines so again I'm measuring the one section of the eye lining it up on the corner and making a little tick mark this way I know the eye has to be within that size and again I'm going to cut out both eyes at the same time so I'm going to cut this all the way across, fold it in half, and again, I don't even need that much. My eye is that wide, get a little bit shorter, and you can easily share this paper with your friends. Cut that off. Okay, so now I have paper that's the same size, and I can start to draw my eye shape. We talked about the eye shape being a football. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that. So it has to go all the way to the edge of that paper. Again, I have the paper folded. It has to go all the way to the edge. And I don't want to use that whole paper. I don't want to make it like super huge like a circle. Remember, a football is like a squished oval. You just kind of pinch the edges. So I like the eye shape that I have. And I'm doing this in marker so you guys can see. Obviously, you're, you are going to do it in pencil. And I'm cutting this out at the same time. Um, it's really important that when you go to glue this down, that you always wind up gluing down the side that has the pencil lines on it. So, like, mine has marker, and I will wind up putting that down so that when I glue it on, you won't see it. See that? So I think I actually put that upside down. All right. So, you're going to go ahead and glue that on, just with a couple dots of glue, like always. I'm actually going to flip it over, because you can still see my pencil lines and my marks back there. So this side, you can't see anything. You take that dot of glue, a little dot, flip it over, fit the face, work right there, and again on the other side. Um, a smart idea before gluing this on is getting the piece of the color that you're going to do for your the color of your eyes and tracing it so you know exactly how big you have to make your pupil. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to trace it before I glue it. I glued the other one just so I didn't lose it, but you can do either one. And again, I'll finish gluing this one on and then I'll explain that. So glued on, ready to go. I'm going to go back to this paper. The color of my eyes are brown. I traced. I'm just going to cut that out. Again, fold it in half. So I know exactly how big to make it. And again, pretty symmetrical. Not totally perfect, but pretty symmetrical for the most part. And we talked about when we were drawing eyes, and I'll zoom in here so you can see, that you don't see the whole circle of the eyes, because then your eyes have to be super wide. So you're only going to see most of the circle. So I'm going to draw that circle. Imagine that the rest of the circle is up here underneath your eyelid. So, all right, so I'm going to draw that and cut that out and glue it down. Make sure cut along there. And again, the same thing here. You need to make sure that you, every time you draw something, you are flipping it upside down. So 
that you can't see what you're doing. And I like to make sure that I'm flipping these the same way so that they are symmetrical. Alright, and then you go ahead and glue that down. Um, so this is the iris of your eye, and the pupil is that little black thing in the middle, and we can actually just color those in later. You don't even have to worry about a tiny little piece of black paper. So yeah, these are the basics on our eyes. Um, if you have a little extra sheet of eye color in the same as your eyebrows, you can use that to make your eyebrow, but we will show you how to do that with your hair in a little bit, so no worries. Alright guys, any questions, let us know.